Podcasts are hot right now. How do I know? Well, you're listening to one right now, aren't you? But you might be wondering, how on earth do I get my voice out there and start my own podcast? It all seems so intimidating. Between hosting and platforms and monetization, it can get real complicated real quick. Well, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. We started this podcast over two years ago, not knowing clue one on how to do it. So how'd we do it? We did it with Anchor. Anchor is the free podcast app with creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. And Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. So it can be heard on all the platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. And everybody likes money, right? Well, you can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So go right now, download the free Anchor app, or go to Anchor FM to get started. It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, John Suter, Bart Moraz, and Brittany Blackman. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm located in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. Hello, listeners. It's Brittany Blackman, Junior Marketing Coordinator at Sumo Heavy. A quick note, we're in an unprecedented time, but with this comes an unprecedented amount of unity. Everyone is coming together to help, no matter what industry they're in. And now we're doing our part. If you advertise on the e-commerce minute, we'll donate 100% of the proceeds to Slice Out Hunger. Slice Out Hunger sends pizza to healthcare workers on the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic while simultaneously supporting small businesses. To get involved, drop us a note at hello at sumoheavy.com or reach out through our various social media accounts. Stay safe, stay inside, and wash your hands. We're all in this together. It's e-commerce minute episode 676. In today's episode, Uber delivers free meals to healthcare workers. We're going to keep rocking and rolling with the good news. As medical staffs work sleepless nights around the clock, it seems like there's no light at the end of the tunnel. But there are some companies that are making it their priority to take care of these crucial caregivers. Uber is pledging to deliver over 300,000 free meals to first responders and healthcare workers on the front line of the coronavirus pandemic across the U.S. and Canada. The company's Uber Eats segment is also waiving delivery fees for small businesses in some of its markets. Customers can find those independent restaurants by looking for the Eat Local banner in the app. Delivery fees will automatically be waived on all applicable orders. Uber Eats is also taking precautions to limit the spread of COVID-19, including the option of contactless drivers, and is working to provide drivers with sanitation materials. The company also said that, as always, your food items aren't touched once they're packed by the restaurant. End quote. The company said, as more companies are choosing to stay indoors, we've waived the delivery fee for more than 100,000 independent restaurants across U.S. and Canada on Uber Eats. We will also launch daily, dedicated, targeted marketing campaigns, both in-app and via email, to promote delivery from local restaurants, especially those that are new to the app. The announcement comes as restaurants through the U.S. are facing economic spiraling as city and state officials take steps to stop the spread of COVID-19. And as of this recording, on Monday, Denver Mayor Michael Hancock ordered the closure of all restaurants and bars except for delivery and carryout service for the next two months. Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti ordered all restaurants in the city to close except for delivery and takeout until at least March 31st. New York City has directed all bars and restaurants to close. Restaurants in New York City can still deliver food. And restaurants here in Philadelphia are pickup and delivery only. In addition to the company's new package, Uber said it would compensate diagnosed rideshare delivery drivers and people forced to quarantine. The company said financial assistance will be offered for up to 14 days through April 6th. Yeah, I kind of wanted to make this about the greater story of Uber because there was very limited information about the healthcare. Understood. Understood. Still a good story. Yeah, so Uber doing a good thing. As I've said in other podcasts, these are limited offers. I mean, obviously a company can't just go on forever just saying, hey, it's all free. We're all good to go. I'm just wondering what happens (laughs) beyond April. But I guess we're going to take a wait and see approach because everything right now is day by day. There's been some pushback to Uber. I mean, there's some good news there, but some of the drivers think that the rideshare companies aren't doing enough. More than two thirds of roughly 200 drivers surveyed this week by rideshare guy and he's got 80,000 subscribers, said the response was inadequate. Many drivers said they wanted companies to provide protections like paid sick leave and sanitizing wipes. About a third of those surveyed said they were considering driving for a food delivery service instead as the demand for for to-go meals has risen as expected. And that is, we can do another podcast about that, about how subscriptions and home delivery have exploded while everything else seems to go. (laughs) So (laughs) pretty amazing. (laughs) 
Previously, Uber said it would consider suspending the accounts of riders and drivers who had been infected or come in contact with COVID-19. This follows the company's recent decision to suspend and reinstate hundreds of accounts in Mexico to prevent the spread of a virus. I have a question. If you have symptoms and you need to get to the hospital, the driver can say, sorry, no? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I mean, obviously, (laughs) if you think about it, it's endangering the driver. Uh, Yeah, you're right. <laughs> plastic wrap. I'm going to wrap, my, wrap myself in plastic wrap till November. But the ambulance is like a thousand dollars. Right. I can't afford an ambulance. <laughs> Driver groups have been pressuring Uber to suspend pool drives. I think they already have, haven't they? There's no pools anymore, is there? Yeah. No, they suspended it. Yeah. 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 Okay. And the only, I guess, bright shining light in all of this, revenue in the subscription and convenience sector up 194% since February 18th, according to research done by performance branding company Within. They've been tracking the relevant stats since the start of the outbreak, and I highly suggest you get over there to their website they've created called COVID-19 Retail Pulse. The URL is covid19.within.co slash covid-19 retail post. That URL will appear in the show notes. Definitely a great resource if you're following trends about spending, uh, not only spending by consumers, but spending on advertising and how other companies are faring throughout of this. They also do a bunch of webinars too, so it's some good information there if you're looking to learn more. Stat time. U.S. consumers spent 21% less on Uber rides in the seven days through March 16 compared with the seven days prior, according to data from Market Research Edison Trends. Uber shares have fallen more than 50% in the last month due to investor concerns about the impact on the virus of bookings and a broader market decline. Lyft's Uh stock is down almost 60%, according to the Wall Street Journal. Finally, RBC Capital Markets analyst Mark Mahaney estimates Uber's 2020 revenue projections could drop between 14 and 37%. They are in a very vulnerable category, but yet each sector is going to explode. So they've got two ends of a bad thing. <laughs> but <they're doing> it. <laughs> right. what happens. All right, guys, got any nails? Nope. Nope, that's it. All right, that's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy. <laughs>